In this video, I'm gonna show you how you retrieve the post ID of a dynamic creative ad so that you can move your best performers from one ad set into a different campaign, different ad set, and retain the engagement on the ad, as well, of course, as the learnings behind the ad. And you can even go as far as moving the ad to a different ad account, as long as it is connected to the same page. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do this. They will say it's not possible, that's not true. You're going to see in this video that it is completely possible and you will be able to do it yourself. So let's jump into Ads Manager and I'll show you how you do it. So here I am in Ads Manager and you can see I have an ad set set up. So before I show you how to retrieve the post ID, I just want to make you aware that as far as I know, there is three instances where a creative or an ad will become a dynamic creative ad. The first one is the one that is probably the most obvious and it is the official dynamic creative ad where you come into your ad set and you would toggle on this button. That would then create it, convert it to a dynamic creative ad. If you then wanted to duplicate that ad, it wouldn't be possible. So let me show you that. So I can't duplicate it, it's using dynamic creative. You're only allowed one ad, okay. So that's now a dynamic creative ad. And within that, I would be able to select 10 different creative types, you know, I could have 10 different images, videos, whatever, five different copy variations, uh, five different headline variations. Let's add another one of these, show you. You know, five different headline variations, uh, different descriptions, and different call to actions, okay? So that is the traditional dynamic creative that you probably all know and are looking to retrieve the post IDs from. But there's actually two different scenarios where your ad will also become a dynamic creative ad. So let's firstly change this back to a normal ad. So this is now a normal static ad. You can see I can duplicate it, you know, a couple of times. If, so I would retrieve the post ID the in a very easy way by doing preview and view Facebook post with comments and then the ID will be up at the top because it's a static ad. But if I came in and actually if I selected this, this um, thing here, standard enhancements, that would then make this, once it ran, a dynamic creative ad, okay? So if I went to get them, I would have to do it the way I'm about to show you of how you retrieve the post ID for a dynamic creative ad. I couldn't do it the normal way. Likewise, let's say that wasn't checked and this was now a static ad. If I came in and let's just take any old image, as soon as this screen appears and I move any of these off of original, that is then gonna convert this to a dynamic creative ad. Because if I select this, for example, this is now two different variants. So I'm gonna pair my copy, even if it's just one, copy one headline as it's only gonna be allowed in the next section. If, I, if I'm if i pairing that with different creative formats, that by the very nature means that has become a dynamic creative because it's gonna look different on different formats. It's gonna have different ad learnings and it's gonna have different engagement because the engagement is on a different style of ad. It's a different shape, it's showing different things, okay? So that, if I do that now, that is then gonna become a dynamic creative ad. And if I went to preview, if I'd published this, you would see up the top, it would be saying it's a DCO, not a static ad, okay? So that's the three different situations where it's gonna become a dynamic creative ad. How do you actually then retrieve the post ID of that dynamic creative ad? Well, let's jump onto another one and show you. So here I have a dynamic creative ad. If I come to, if I select it, first of all, I come up to the button preview, hit preview, and then come down to share on the drop down and Facebook course with comments. This is the same way you would find another, a regular post ID. You can see here at the top that I have, let me move this somehow. You can see here that I have the dynamic DCO ad underscore ID showing here. Now, as well as like post ID here, if you take any of these numbers and try and put them into an ad, it's not going to work. You can't copy the all the different dynamic creative formats. You have to come in and select the individual one you want, 
by isolating it. So let me just show you that now, just to prove. So if I copy this and I come in and let's convert this to use existing post ID uh, and enter post ID. You can see it's not worked. So it's pulled out the dynamic creative, but it's not been able to pull the actual ads. It's just giving you these default parameters and pulled something from the back of my website, okay? So it's not allowed me to take that dynamic creative as a post and transfer it. What you have to do is you have to select the individual ad combinations within this. So you can see here that there's, if I scroll down, there's multiple different ones. These are all the different dynamic combinations that have engagement, okay? That's very important. They have to have engagement to appear in this preview screen. If they don't have engagement, they won't appear here and there's a more long-winded way of retrieving the post ID, which I will show you at the end of the video, but it's less important because really, if something has engagement, that is probably showing that it has success. Or if something has appeared here, it's telling you that it is a successful combination because that's where your spend is going. If something doesn't appear here, it means it's not getting any spend and it's not getting any engagement for that reason. So why would you want to take it and move it to another campaign? The dynamic creative, the, the AI has shown you that it's not gonna work in the platform. So you moving it somewhere else means it's still not gonna work. You only wanna be taking your best performers. So realistically, you only wanna be coming in and getting the things that are at the very top of this page because they're gonna be done in order of engagement, okay? so. This first, com this first combo, what I want to do is I want to click on the date up here. And that is going to change my URL. Now you can come in to this screen here and where it says equals PF bid. After the equals come and take this whole strain of characters all the way up to the thing before the and sign. And you can copy that. That is your post ID. I know it is letters and numbers. It used to be just numbers. That is now what the post ID looks like, okay? For a dynamic creative. But I don't do it that way. I prefer to first of all, click this date here one last time. And that's just gonna present that same strain of letters and characters in a little bit of a clearer URL. You can see it's now coming from the page on Facebook rather than coming from the business suite, okay? So exact same process, but I can come up here now after the equals, is the same post ID. It's just, there's a lot less going on. So it's, I find it much easier to come and just do that second step and retrieve it. But they're the exactly the same. So if I copy this now, I come into the same section we had before, enter the post ID, submit it, and voila, you can see, I now have all, I now have all my engagement on the ad, I have the copy, the creative, and the headline, call to action, combination that I was looking for. Now, this number here, is the numerical post ID. So that is what I would generally copy and keep in your records. I will tend to put it in the ad name so you can find it. Oh, uh, so you can find it because that's a lot easier to deal with than this, this big long strain here. And if I just show you this as well as a demonstration, so if I copy this and I go into another ad, okay, let me come down. Use existing post, enter that numerical value now. You're gonna see it's gonna bring up the exact same ad, okay? So that is how you retrieve the post ID from most accounts. One thing I wanna show you though as well, I do have some accounts still where it's a little bit different. So this account here, this is the same thing. I've done the preview view Facebook post with comments, but instead of opening it in business manager like this, 
it has directly opened it to the page, the Facebook page hosting. Now you're gonna follow the same process where you're gonna come down and click on the date. But what you're gonna find is it's gonna present it a lot more neatly and a lot cleaner. You just have to come to posts and after the bracket, copy that whole strain there, okay? And copy it. You don't need to worry about looking up to the and sign or anything. It just gives it to you very nicely on the end of the strain. I don't know why there's a difference, why sometimes it comes up in Business Suite, why other times it comes up on the Facebook page. I've no idea, honestly. I just wanna show you that there's two different ways in case you get confused and yours is one or the other, okay? But the, 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 the thing is the same. You wanna take the PF bid all the way up to the end, okay? And if there is an and sign there, you don't take it, you take anything before. If there's a nothing there, of course, you can just copy the whole thing. So I did mention earlier though, so that's it busy, but I did mention earlier that there is a long winded way to retrieve the post ID if you don't have any engagement on them. Now, like I said before, why would you want that anyway? But I know there might be some circumstances where you just want to retrieve the, the creative combinations for whatever purpose you're looking at. So of course, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Right, so you wanna come back to your ads manager. You wanna click the three horizontal bars on the le top left-hand side. Come down to the page posts right at the bottom. So under engaged customers, come down to page posts. And you'll normally be presented, by the way, with the authenticator, like use your authenticator app step, in which case you just put in your number and that will then take you to here. So I'm gonna show you on a different one though. Um, so yeah, I'd be here, okay. Now you wanna come down to add posts. That's very important. Don't leave it on publish posts. Of course, if you've got multiple pages, make sure you come to the top right and select the correct page from the drop down, and then come down to add posts. And these IDs here are the numerical value post IDs that I showed you previously. So typical meta, typical Facebook ads, why can they not just put this easy number up in the URL if they're using it anyway here and in the other location. I don't know why that is just always the way Facebook has been. They just don't make things logical and easy. But anyway, that's how it's done. So these, if I copy any one of these, let me just show you. Let's copy that and come into the ad. Existing post and I enter the post ID here. you're gonna see that it populates that combination that I must have just been joking around and created. Very nice. But yeah, so that that's showing you that it's come in here and taken this exact same ad. You can see the FS, DFS, blah, blah, blah. So let's exit that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the dates here and tie it back to your ad. So if you come into your dynamic creative, this is the one that we had open. And you come to this on the right hand side, the see history. And set the maximum time, okay? Now you can see there's different dates here. You can see the ad created on the 24th and then the status updated on the 24th at 9.59. I think it's the ad created date you wanna look at and time. But I can't quite remember uh, as I don't go for this method that mean that much. But anyway, so 24th of December, 2022, 9.47. If I come back to this page and I go down to the 24th of December, actually one thing to say, first of all, if you click on any one of these, it's gonna default back up to the top. So make sure you click on one before you start scrolling as that is very annoying, annoying thing to happen. So anyway, that said, let's come back down. So let's scroll down to the 24th and so the ad we built in like 9.47, you can see here they've been put here like an hour later. I think that's when it gets the approval. And lo and behold, you can see my ads here. I can click on some of them. And basically what you do is you'd wanna just look at the combinations you want, okay? So I can probably find the one that was the one 
we did in the demonstration. There it is here. Okay, you can see there's the post ID. Same ad, 20 likes, 20 comments. There, I could just copy that now. Come in and enter post ID. Submit. And there you go. It's now there. Okay, so that is it. There's those two different ways of retrieving your post IDs. Try to show you that there's some differences in different accounts. Hopefully at some point, they just have one standardized way of doing this. And I can just make one video to show you one way of doing it and maybe make it a bit simpler. But I wanted to cover all bases and make sure that it was appropriate to anyone. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If there's any issues, drop a line in the comments as I have other videos showing you how to do this. And maybe you're on um, an a more historic way of doing it. And I can point you in the direction of those videos so you understand how you do it. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.